Dodger. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Hey, who's the boy? <laughs> what are you doing, silly boy? <laughs> You wanna play, hey? You wanna play, you good boy. Good boy. Oh. oh, I know you like it when I rub your neck, eh? Good boy. Good boy. What? <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Brittany, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am an autistic girl, and I make videos about books and autism here on this channel so if that sounds like something you guys you'd be interested in um please feel free to hit that like button and the subscribe button so that you are notified every single time i upload a new video um i don't upload a new video uh on a regular schedule just because my energy levels and i suffer from lethargy and some other things that come along with uh, being autistic, so, yeah. Okay, so today, um, I guess let's just get into it. So, hi. <laughs> um, so today I just thought I would just give you guys a quick, very, very fast um, update on what I'm reading currently. Um, I know I've been kind of out of the booktube loop I guess for a minute um, because I've been trying to focus more on the autism side of my channel but I do still want to make some booktube content um, I'm gonna focus more though on instead of trying to keep up with wrap-ups and uh, TBRs and stuff because it was all starting to feel like quite a bit of a chore actually um, and I always found that the TBRs that I set for myself were never realistic like I always found that I never actually was able to meet them so instead of doing TBRs and wrap-ups and those kinds of things um, I may do the occasional wrap-up uh, but I want to kind of focus more on for the I want to focus more on the autism side of my channel as well as um, for the uh, for the books that I am reading, the ones that I really enjoy, I just want to come on and talk about them. Um, I'll focus more on doing the reviews, book reviews. Um, I may do the odd game or tag or something, but I'm not going to force it. Um, I'm just going to kind of read and enjoy what I'm reading and review the, review the books that I'm reading. Um, so I'm going to be taking a break from reading vlogs for a little while. Um, just because my filming setup right now isn't really conducive. I really need a new tripod for my phone um, for filming. But until I get that, my filming setup right now isn't really conducive for um, filming reading vlogs. So I think I'm just going to stick to reviews and um, autism type content. And uh, yeah. So I won't. So like I say, I. I'm not holding myself to a strict schedule anymore, which has been a bit of a relief. Um, and I actually find it's brought back a lot of my love of reading. Um, yeah, so I just, I just, I'll upload, you know, as I can. I, I'm still going to upload as much as I can, but I, I'll upload when I'm able and uh, I'll just kind of read for the enjoyment again of reading. So, yeah. Um... But definitely want to start making some booktube videos and some autism videos. Um, I might try and flip back and forth. I don't know. I can't really say. I'm not going to hold myself to that. But um, I'm going to try as much as I can to try to kind of think about flipping back and forth. You know, if I've just made an autism related video, I might make a booktube related video. And then an autism related video. And then, yeah. So... Again, don't hold me to this. This is just me kind of talking with you guys, which is what I'm here to do. So, okay. So I think, um, sorry, this just unplugging my phone here. 
So I just kind of want to give you guys a quick update on what I'm reading right now. I'm trying to get some um, ebooks, audiobooks, um, and some movies and some games on my husband's uh, Kindle Fire tablet. Um, I have him set up for Amazon free time. Um, it's, it's something that was recommended uh, by his therapist. So anyway, it's it's a long story. I'm not going to get into it because it's not really my story to tell. But the point is, is that my husband has some, um, some, my husband is neurodiverse. He's not on the autism spectrum, but he is neurodiverse. And um, he has some, some stuff that he's working through. And uh, yeah, so. Anyway, but we, I've noticed, though, it seems that the media that he consumes seems to have a very big effect on his mood, and um, consuming more sort of, I don't want to say kid-ish, but like kid-friendly content, like PG-13 and down, seems to have a much more positive effect on his mood than consuming content that is I guess more adult um in terms of movies and stuff like that so books don't really seem to it it's not books actually he's real. he really enjoys um adult and YA uh fantasy and it seems to have a really good effect on his mood and it has a great effect on his vocabulary so I'm all for that but um yeah but in terms of mostly movies and TV shows are really where consuming um, more adult content seems to have a negative effect on his mood. Um, music and books don't seem to affect in the same way. So I don't know. But in either case. So that's why I'm just moving his tablet out of the way. Um, getting that set up for him. Um, getting some more content for him for his birthday. Um, I also got him, uh, Let's Go Pikachu for his Nintendo Switch. He already has Let's Go Eevee. And I also got him, um, a $25 Kobo gift card and a new case for his, uh, for his tablet. And, um, I'm gonna pick him up something else. Um, I'm gonna try to pick him up a book as well. Um, and maybe possibly a, um... A portable PlayStation. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. We'll see. Because I know you can get them really cheap now and, and with the games and that. And He used to have one he really liked it. Don't get me wrong, he loves his Switch Lite, as do I, but love mine. But yeah, anyway, it's that's kind of the situation where we're at. So I'll be picking some of that stuff up for him. Okay, so on to what I have been reading. So the first book that I've been reading is Straight On Till Morning. This is the first in the uh, Twisted Tales Disney series. Um, I still am staying true to my promise. I am going. I do still want to do the mini series about these books, um, Twisted Tales. So I've been reading this, and I've been loving it. Um, yeah, I've been actually listening to it on audiobook, which I find has been easier on my energy levels lately. I don't know if it's just that I'm still feeling quarantine and pandemic life. It's just taking me longer to adjust, I think, which is normal for me. It takes me quite a long time to adjust to new things. So, um, yeah, adjusting to quarantine and just general, not even so much quarantine anymore because we're kind of out of quarantine, but just general pandemic life of just sort of being out and about and having to be so watchful and everything it's just it's it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot for me to uh, to deal with so um so the next book that I am reading I actually haven't started this yet I do intend to start it um tonight I'm and tonight I'm going to sit down and I'm going to take some time get myself a drink, get comfy with my weighted blanket, and dive into this book. And that is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. I am so excited about this. I know a lot of people have already read it. 
Um, I love witches and Halloween and spooky things, if you know me. Um, so this is going to be fantastic, I think. I'm very, very excited about it. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to be diving into that. Um, and the last book is a book that I got from the library. Now, I never actually thought that I would get into these books because they always seemed a little bit kind of eh for me. Like, I, I know it combines fantasy and mystery, which are, like, essentially my two favorite genres of books. So it's like, how could I not love it, right? But I don't know. I just, I never picked it up. And I'm kind of kicking myself for it now because this is one book that's actually um, kind of pulled me out of my reading slump and gotten me back to reading again. And that is the first book in the Dresden Files, uh, Stormfront by Jim Butcher. Um, I got this from the library. I am loving it. I'm not that far in. My reading has slowed down quite a bit um, since this whole COVID thing started. It's just, it's just been so hard on me. Like my mental health has been just, um, or, Sorry, I guess that's not even really true. No, my mental health has been fine. It's just my energy levels is more, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, that's more like my energy levels have been... And um, my mental health a little bit, too. It's been up and down. Um, it's certainly been uh, uh, a rocky road, to say the least. So... Um, I mean, rocky for me. I mean, what I would consider rocky, other people might just consider normal. So please keep that in mind. But for me, it's been rocky. So, okay. Um, but yeah, Stormfront, Dress and Files. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Um, cannot wait to finish this one and dive into the next in the series. This is definitely a series I'm considering buying um, just because once when you open it, it's just, oh my God, it's Jim Butcher's writing is just, it's, it's addictive and he's so funny. He's so funny. Like I find him hilarious. Like I find a lot of the stuff that he writes is just so funny. Oh my goodness. I, I laugh so much reading this and it's like only Jim Butcher could you know, only an author like that, they could take something that, like, what happens in this book, something so horrible and awful and grotesque and, like, still, like, have, and, like, such a, like, serious situation and still throw in that humor, like, that witty humor. Like, I, I love that. I love witty humor. I'm not a very witty person. So whenever I read it and I, I just, it becomes an echolalia thing and I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. So, yeah. So, and I'm also getting a couple things for myself. I have an iPad now um, that I got very, very cheap. If you watched my What's in My Bag video, you would have seen it. Um, so, I got a case for that. It's a foam kids case. Um, so, after I get it fixed, I'll be able to uh, put that on there. And i am also got myself um, on uh, for, like, to be able to watch it on my computer and on my um, phone and my iPad. I was able to get myself uh, the 15th season of Criminal Minds, which I am super excited about. I love Criminal Minds. It's one of my favorite shows, and I... Uh, I haven't been able to uh, to finish it, so I'm very excited to finish it. All right, guys, so that was the little quick update. Uh, my mom is home, so I got to go help her bring in the groceries, and I will see you guys all next time. All right, guys, bye.